What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my two quart Kasori pressure cooker. And today, I'm gonna make some easy instant mashed potatoes using the steam function. So if your pressure cooker has the steam function, this will apply to you as well. It doesn't have to only be a Kasori pressure cooker. But let's begin. To my subscribers, you already know I love this brand and making some instant potatoes. I usually make them in my Cook's Essentials Digital Perfect Cooker. But I thought, hey, today, let's, I haven't used the steam function in my, my two quarts, so let's give it a whirl today. I'm gonna use this one today. So let's begin. Went ahead and opened it up. Pour that in there like so. Gonna go ahead and add my two cups of water as instructed in the back of the mash packet. Gonna go ahead and give it a mix. That's just to get, make sure that there's no lumps or anything like that. Or minimize lumps. <laughs> right. Go ahead and close that down, lock it. Real simple guys, we're just gonna hit steam. We're gonna go with that five minutes and hit start. All right, there we have it guys. Let's see what we're looking like. Look at that. Awesome, 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 awesome. Perfect. I could even did. You know what? When you do it, do four minutes. Because this, you can see the bottom. It's got a little bit of, but it's done. It's done. Oh yeah. All right. So this is an example of how much mash would come out of that packet. This is what my inner pot looked like. So I would either, if I do it, if I did next time, I would add a little more water than what's instructed, or I would probably put it down to four minutes. But what I would suggest you do, just add a little bit more water than what's instructed and you should be fine. Cause I'm just gonna put this to soak for five minutes and watch how clean it gets. See guys, cleaned up very nicely. Just five minutes soaking in some warm soapy water, no big deal. Um, like I said, if I was to do it again, I would put like a quarter cup more than what the um, the back, you know, the instructions tell you to um, to do. So in my case, it was two cups. So I would add that additional um, just to avoid that. But it came out perfect. The, the uh, mash tastes just fine. So my experiment I, in my eyes is a success. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. Also wanted to share with you guys, I do have a pressure cooker group on Facebook. It's called Cooking with, um, it's called uh, Pressure Cooking with Doug. I'll put the link in the description so you can join. Uh, we share pictures, recipes, best practices. Um, you know, any new pressure cooker comes out, we try and get it and share it with each other and stuff like that. So definitely um, link up with that. So you can be more informed and share some of your stuff too. And before I go, I do have to give a big shout out to Mr. Bill Hayes. On um, He's uh, on YouTube and we made a sort of a little bet on my Giants and Seahawks. Um, there was a Giants and Seahawks game yesterday and my Giants lost. And if I lost, then I'd have to give him a shout out. And if the Giants won... He was actually going to do the gadget challenge, which would have been awesome. But, of course, my one in six Giants lost yet again. So, big up to you, Mr. Hayes. Good game. So, this one's for you. Got it? Alright. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just looking at my video. We out. Go Giants!